Hey YouTubers! My name is Zoe and welcome to my channel All About Wildlife. Today we're going to be talking about bears in North America. Before we get started, I have a question for all of you. Which of the following is not actually a bear? Is it the giant panda bear, the koala bear, or the sloth bear? We'll answer this question at the end of the video. But for now, let's get started. So there are three different kinds of bears found in North America. There's the black bear, the brown bear, and the polar bear. Let's start with the black bear. Black bears are the most diverse bear in all of North America. They live from Mexico all the way up through to Alaska. I've marked all the places in red. It's a little bit of a rough estimate, but you get the gist. From their nose to their tail, they can grow between three to six feet long. And from the ground up to their shoulder, they can grow between two to three and a half feet tall. They can weigh anywhere between 100 to 900 pounds. As many of you may know, they got their name Black Bear because of their black furry coats. But their coats can also be a bluish gray to a brown, blonde, or even a whitish color. Their muzzle is typically a light brown color and straight, much like a dog's. Their ears are short and oval shaped, and they typically have dark eyes on the front of their heads. Their rump is higher than their shoulders. This helps them climb up trees really quickly. They are one of the best climbers out of all the bears. Many times you can find them high up in the trees, eating away at the tops. Black bears typically eat nuts, berries, and vegetation. They'll also eat insects, small mammals, fish, and on occasion, beehives. When near humans, black bears will eat trash. They'll eat all of it, including plastic and other harmful things. It's best to try and keep people food far away from bears. Now there are many ways to do this. One of the best ways though is getting a bear safe container, which is a container that bears can't open, thus keeping them and your food safe. Black bears are solitary animals. They only come together when in feeding areas or during mating season. Black bears can give birth from one to three cubs. There are a couple cases where they can give birth from four to six cubs. The cubs are born from the months of January to February. Mother bear gives birth while she's in a dormant state, which just means that she's asleep through most of it. The mother bear will fiercely protect her cubs from wolves, large birds, and other bears. When the cubs are around two years old, the mother bear will chase them off. This forces the young black bear to go off and make their own home. Now let's change gear to brown bears. Brown bears mostly live in the northern part of North America. They range from Montana up to Alaska. Now you might be thinking, what's the difference between a brown bear, a grizzly bear, and a Kodiak bear? Truth is, not much. Kodiak bears and grizzly bears are just subspecies of the brown bear. Kodiak bears are the largest and they live on Kodiak Island, off of the coast of Alaska. It's thought that they are large because they eat mostly fish and they don't have much competition with other bears. They only mate with bears on that island because it's too far of a swim to the mainland. Plus, the water up there is ice cold. Grizzly bears are smaller subspecies and they tend to live more inland. They have more grizzly fur than the brown bear and the Kodiak bear. And the reason for their smaller size, it's hypothesized to be because they don't have as much access to fish and meat, thus making them smaller. They can, however, mate with the brown bears. For the sake of this video, we're just going to stick with brown bears. So from their nose to their tail, they can grow anywhere between 5 to 9 feet long. And from the ground to their shoulder, they are anywhere between 3 to 5 feet. They can weigh anywhere between 200 to 1,300 pounds. As you might have guessed, they normally have a light brown furry, furry color, but they can also be black or a whitish color. Their noses are typically shorter than the black bears and are more square shaped. They have short circled ears and they have dark eyes on the front of their head. They also have a hump on their back near their shoulders. This is thought to help them with digging. They are great diggers. Now this doesn't say that they can't climb, they're just not great at it. They are more built for digging up things. Brown bears will eat fruit, veg vegetation, roots, and fish. They'll dig up burrows to eat small animals, and they'll also tear into logs to get to beehives. Much like the black bear, they'll also eat people food. 
So again, it's best to try and keep people food far away from them. Also like the black bears, they are solitary animals. They only come together when in feeding areas or during mating season. Brown bears can give birth anywhere between one to four cubs, but there are rare cases where they can give birth up to six cubs. The cubs are born between the months of January and March. While giving birth, the mother bear will be mostly asleep. Brown bear cubs have to be protected from wolves and other brown bears. When the cubs are around two to four years old, the mother bear will chase them off, making them go off and find their own home. Finally, we have the polar bears. Polar bears are found in the most northern part of North America. They live from northern Alaska all the way up to the Arctic. From their nose to their tail, they can grow anywhere between six to eight and a half feet long. From the ground to their shoulders, they can grow anywhere between four to five feet tall. They can weigh anywhere between 330 to 1,600 pounds. Polar bears are a whitish cream color and sometimes their fur can be more of a yellowish color. They have a long white nose that points downwards. Their ears are short and off to the side. They also have smaller heads and a longer neck than the other bears. As you can see, they live mostly around water. That makes them amazing swimmers. They have thick fur that helps keep them warm in the ice cold water. They love water so much they'll even play in it. Polar bears typically eat seals, walruses, belugas, sea ducks, and during the summer months they'll fast for long periods of time while the snow and ice melts. When near people, polar bears will try to eat people food as well. Again, it's best to try and keep human food far away from them. Polar bears are solitary animals. They only come together when during mating season. Polar bears will give birth from one to four cubs. The cubs are born during the months of December to January. In giving birth, the mother bear is mostly asleep through most of it. The mother bear will protect her cubs from seals, killer whales, and other bears. Cubs will stay with their mom from two to three years before they finally go off and find their own homes. And that's it for the bears found in North America. Did you get a chance to think about the question before? Which of the following is not actually a bear? Is it the giant panda bear, the koala bear, or the sloth bear? If you said the koala bear, you'd be correct. Koala bears aren't actually bears, they're marsupials, which just means that they have a pouch that they use to carry their young. They are more closely related to opossums, kangaroos, and wombats than they are to actual bears. They also have two opposable thumbs on each of their hands. This helps them grab and eat food, kind of like people hands. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or if you want me to talk about another animal, leave me a comment below. Thank you and I hope to see you again.